Hi everybody, I'm Mike from Marcan Trailer. Today I'm gonna to show you the brand new Passport 268BH. Uh, so in years past, it was known as the 267. They've made some updates this year and they changed the model number just to kind of differentiate that a little bit. Uh, but yeah, we'll get started on the outside. So this is in the SL series, so the super light. So it is half ton towable. Um, all the passports are built with a fully caged aluminum frame. So nice and lightweight, um, but still, you know, of course, very durable. Starting here up here at the front, um, a lot of standard stuff with Passport, not a whole lot of uh, differences from last year. You got your power tongue jack, your power stabilizers. Um, one of the new things to note is the inverter prep. Okay, so that it is pre-wired for a, a 12 volt inverter. Um, that'll help convert that, not help, but it will convert that uh, 12 volt power into 110. So then you'd have a few live plugs inside the trailer. It's kind of handy if you do some dry camping. I'd recommend putting a solar panel on the roof as well to really take advantage of that. Um, pass through storage so a little bit of an upgrade in the in the space this year there is an automatic light in there which is already on because I've been moving around but when you open the door the light just flicks on it's kind of cool and that does lead back to the universal docking center as well where it kind of bows out which I'll talk about at the end of this video um, just a little bit of a graphics update otherwise not a whole lot of differences in, in the look um, nice big awning passport always does a huge awning for all their trailers. It covers the outside kitchen in this particular model. You got your two burner stove, your outside fridge, and of course your uh, little water spray port as well. Round back, um, new this year for all passports, is the rear ladder. Okay, so everybody was kind of always asking. They did put the backing in at one point, but now they've just gone all the way. Every model gets a rear ladder, uh, no questions asked. <laughs> all passport bunk models have a um, rear bike door as well. So this bottom bunk just flips up, it latches into place right here, and then you can fit things like the bike, hence the name, the bike door, or you know your outside barbecue, or, or maybe uh, outside water sports type stuff. And then you can lock that door from the outside, but not from the inside. So you don't have to worry about your little ones opening that door and, and escaping or something like that. Let's head inside and check out the new, uh, new decor. All right, welcome inside. So you'll notice right away, totally uh, new you know, facelift for Passport this year. They went to the lighter gray cabinetry. Um, they've changed the style. They call that kind of more European style. Uh, black fixtures everywhere. So you know, you got your L-shaped kitchen, seamless countertops, stainless steel sink. You got your TV right above, which might seem a little bit strange at first, but it's actually right across from your sofa. Um, you know, you have a direct view of the TV. The TV is on a swing arm, so you can aim it towards your dinette or whatever you want it to do. Um, in the kitchen though, you do get a nice little countertop extension if you need it, and then lots of drawers. They basically fit these new drawers wherever they can, or cabinets. You got the pots and pans drawer, so lots of storage space. You got your six cubic foot fridge. And then of course, one of my favorite things about this trailer is the massive pantry slash closet. So fixed shelves on this side, removable on this side with a hanger, so you can use that as hanging space and then even more space underneath. Tons of space, that's a great spot at the bottom there for shoes, goes right down to the floor. And then uh, you'll notice the U-shaped dinette. Passport's been doing this for years. Um, you know, this is kind of a reinvent the wheel type thing, so they've just been kind of doing the same dinette. It, it works really well because it's the dimensions of a double bed. There's space at the back because of the shape of the table. Um, a lot of good space there. And then you got the drawers underneath. So there's storage underneath the whole thing. The back kind of acts as a chest. You got the new black pleated blackout blinds this year as well. Big windows on all um, sides of the slide. And then of course your double bunks. 300 pound bunks. You do get the curtain as well. Windows on each side, okay? And then this is the bunk that you know folds up if you uh, decided to use that for storage. Three piece washroom, you got a window, tub surround, skylight, fan, it's all there. It's got a retractable kind of plastic door instead of just a loose curtain, which locks into place. Really handy. I'll show you the master bedroom. It's kind of in years past, um, a lot of you know models, including the old passports, had kind of the entertainment set up right here at an angle from your couch and dinette. They gotten rid of that. They moved the TV there. Didn't compromise storage because they gave you the bigger pantry at the back. And now you have kind of we call it the, the barn doors, the sliding doors on either side. So those just latch into place. You got the full-size queen bed, which is on a nice strut assist, okay? And then uh, closets on either side, nightstands with USB ports to charge your devices. Um, there is a vent in here as well, so if you wanted a little bit of extra airflow, you got it. 
windows on either side, TV hookups in the corner even. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna show you new for Keystone Passport this year is the Universal Docking Center, okay? So what that means is, first of all, it's a fifth wheel feature. You'll see this in a lot of higher end fifth wheels where they have all your outside connections and you know spray ports and things like that all in one spot. So just on the other side of your, your baggage door, which is on a nice magnetic with a slam latch, um, you'll notice all your connections here. So at the top here, it's just your TV hookups. If you have that kind of thing, you have of course, a little light here to con so you can see what you're doing, but um, electric stabilizer jacks inside and out, so the switches are nicely protected from the elements. This is an outside shower, comes with a, a 14 foot hose that just snaps in, then you have hot and uh, cold water. Um, this is for your satellite prep, uh, which goes up to the roof. Black tank flush for flushing out your sewer, and then you have your fresh water and your city water connections side by side. So if you do have um, city water hookups at your campsite, all you would do is take your fresh water hose, feed it through this bottom cap here, which pops out, and then plug it in, and then you can close your, your door, and everything stays nicely covered, nicely protected. Um, this, make sure you're installing this when you're not using it to keep, you know, little critters and stuff like that out of the docking center. But that's on all Keystone Passports this year. I'm Mike from Arcana Trailer. I'll catch you next time.